So this is a video just to say, I told you so. Not even to say I told you so, but it just feels good to hear somebody else actually say and confirm the things that I was saying way back when I did a video that I think that I was criticized by Tosh Cops herself for her collaborating with Nicki Minaj, but not doing much else than a song. Kirk Franklin was just on Ebro in the morning talking about collabing with Kanye and how it happened regular and how he was focused more on the brotherhood more than just going in the studio and laying some tracks. And I want you to listen to this clip I'm gonna play next and then I'm gonna come back and just talk some more about what he says. It's what Tasha Cobbs didn't do and it's my only critique of her and her collaboration with Nicki Minaj. Just watch being will ever be thrown away by me. I'm not going to agree with choices people make. I'm not going to agree with people's um, um, people's execution of those choices, but I'm not going to throw your ever. life away. I want it to be more of a brother than a collaborator mm -hmm. because I can't say no and hold accountable things that may need to be shifted if I'm always just jumping on records. That's right. And so, again, the brotherhood won. When I say when is I want listeners to know that don't mean that people are at the end of their journey and perfect and right is I'm saying that there is a respect and a love that when I say something to him, I'm now seeing the response be somebody that, like you said so eloquently, they on the journey. Now look, now when the whole collaboration with Tasha Cobb and Nicki Minaj came out, I was piqued in my interest because I wanted to see what type of song it was. I wanted to see what it was all about. And then when it came out and just the whole drama surrounding everything with Tasha Cobb saying in an Instagram post that Nikki is more Christian than people in the church and just all these other things she tried to say to justify her collabing with Nicki Minaj instead of just letting it be a natural kind of thing. I don't know what but what went behind the collaboration. I really don't. But it just really seemed like it was, so I'm doing this on my phone in real time. So I got a call while I was recording my other um, segment. But anyways, like I was saying, it just really seems like that collab wasn't done from a pure place. And so I called Tasha Cobbs out on it. I called her out on Instagram. I think I called her out on, I know I called her out on Facebook and YouTube and I'm a, put the link to my first video. I came at her very humbly, very respectfully, but I think that I was lumped together in this group of everybody that didn't have something positive to say about the collaboration was either blocked or just ignored. But here it is, Kurt Franklin is saying something exactly like I said, he's not coming at Tasha. He's just telling what he did. But it's, it's funny that it's the same thing that I said that artists should do. It should be more than just a musical collab and, and most definitely you shouldn't go to defend somebody who's clearly not a Christian and who clearly is not more Christian than the people in church and actually go as far as to defend your collaboration and make her to be somebody she's not. Like I said in my other video, that is a disservice to the person because what if she's not there? What if she is not finished with her journey? And then you put her out there for everybody else to judge and condemn when you said that she was a Christian. I just didn't like it. So I didn't come on here to make a whole long video because I think I said enough in my old video, but I just decided to make my return to YouTube with a follow-up video because of what Kirk Franklin said in his relationship with Kanye. It was a natural thing. He did it for the brotherhood. And I don't believe that Tasha Cobb did the collaboration for the sisterhood. Nobody's saying that she really necessarily has to change by tomorrow or that she even has supposed to change by now. But the stuff that you said about Tasha Cobbs as far as her being more of a Christian and just defending her Christianity and not holding her accountable, it put you, Tasha Cobb, if you ever see this, or for people that are just looking at this for what I have to say, it put her in a compromising position because like Kirk said, you know, I, if I'm always jumping on records with somebody, I'm not in a position to where if I need to correct them, that relationship is gonna be broken because we don't really have a relationship that's built off of brotherhood. It's built off some records. 
and there is no challenging if if you eat in front of a relationship you can't challenge the person on something because then they're just gonna be like oh well I just won't collab with you no more and our relationship is over because it wasn't natural to begin with so like I said in my other video you didn't have to she didn't have to do a collaboration with Nikki she could have built with her I think what it was is that Tasha got excited that Nikki um, noticed her ministry and it's okay but there's a correct way to go about certain things and when people like me say something about it don't mute us don't mute me because I have a valid concern and I'm not coming at you I'm coming at you as a brother I don't care how famous a person is if I got something to say I'm gonna say it and I'm gonna use my faith to say it with eloquence and to say it hoping that it reaches the ears of who I'm talking to so so that's that's where I came and how I came at it humbly as I can but with the faith of David or whoever because anybody I want to talk to I can I don't care how famous you are I don't, I don't care who you didn't talk to who you're friends with I serve God and with everything in me, if I feel like I want to hold you accountable, then I'm going to do that. If you want to block me, because she has blocked me on Twitter, she has blocked me on Instagram. And if she could block me on Facebook, she would. But I got stuff to say. I got words that are value, and you could block me, and you could try to mute me all you want. But I know I'm in the right vein. Because your peer, Kurt Franklin, did what you didn't do. And what I pointed out. So I just wanted to come and make a video and say that because it was encouragement to me because I always knew I was on it and I knew what I was saying was true even before this video came out and if it never came out my convictions never changed but this is just a video just to return and say I was right I was in the right vein and I hope that you repent and unblock me and I hope that you apologize but if you don't the love's never changed and I'm still there for you and I still like your music.